on. Let's see, can you guys see this? On May 26, 2015, I filled my ICND 2 portion of my CCNA. Now look at this face. You see that? Like, man. I went in there with my game face on too. So, I got hit up today, and this isn't the first time I've been hit up by someone informing me how they failed their CCNA and it's really got them down and they're really depressed. Y'all, I've been there. Like, it's not a good feeling, it's the worst. When I failed my CCNA, like, I went in there like, I'm a man. You know, I don't even know what I was listening to May 2015. I have no clue what I was listening to, but it's probably like some 2 chains or something. I went in there with my game face, like, I'm going to pass this. And, yeah, I got that failing score. It, it was humbling because... To me, it was like, once I get this CCNA, I'm going to go into my boss like, look, I need that bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, my life was going to change once I got that CCNA. But I failed. And it humbled me. Even though at that time, like, I was managing um, a large network, multiple servers, over 100-something switches, over 100-something APs. I was really getting it in. I felt like I knew everything from... Um, VSS to e EIGRP to VTP version 3, which most people weren't touching at that time. Um, just so much. Spanning tree. You know, I was doing so much and I felt like this CCNA is nothing. I was putting in the work on these labs. You know, I was studying, but I failed. And so it humbled me. It made me take, take a step back like... Maybe I don't know as much as I thought I did. And honestly, <laughs> yo, failing was probably the best thing for me because although, you know, I knew that I knew my stuff, I really didn't know my stuff. And so I had to go back to the drawing board. I had to reread books because when I passed, yeah, I went in there smiling. Look at that face. Let me see. Yeah, I went in there with a smile on my face because I knew I put in the work and I knew I'd get that passing score. And I actually passed on, what is that? July 24th. So two months later, I took my CCNA exam, ICND2, and I passed it. So rather than cramming for like a week or whatever or two, I took my time and really dove into those books hit Packet Tracer, I hit my lab, and I just learned. You know what I mean? Because it was just one of those things where I wanted to be the best. The, the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wanted to go in that test and ace it. I didn't ace it. I'm not going to lie. When I passed it the second time, or when I passed it, finally, I didn't ace it. But with that being said, I definitely walked into interviews knowing <laughs> the information and the questions that they asked me. Because failure does one of two things. It either pushes you to give up and quit, or it pushes you in the direction of success. It's up to you to make that decision. And for me, I made the decision to be successful. Like, when I walk into interviews, even today, I study my note cards, I lab. I look at whatever job description they have, see if I know the information. If I don't, if I have if I have time to go over what I don't know, I go over it so I can be prepared for that interview. But the information that I do know or I'm not as sharp on, I hit labs and I hit my questions and I hit the books to make sure whatever they ask me, I can not only answer the question, but I can give them examples of how I handled the situation in my career previously. That's just something to think about. Like, the CCNA for me, a long time ago, was like a lottery ticket. Like, if I got the CCNA, my life would change. I haven't made a video about it because it really did change. But what I'm saying 
it didn't change because I got the certification. It's, it changed because I learned the information and I applied the information that I learned. It's not about the certification. It's about the knowledge. The certification just gets you the interview. Once you get the interview, they're going to test to see if you know that knowledge. And that's what's important. But this video is not about that. This video is about when that test says fail and how to overcome it. Um, somebody I know on YouTube, um, he's actually pretty cool. His middle name is actually Dewan, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> but he, he, he's super cool. He actually uh, brought me into his clique. Shout, shout out to everyone, everybody in the Polytest clique. Duke, everybody that's in there. But anyway... Mikhail, you know, he struggled with the A+, and when he finally passed it, his life lit up, you know, because he kept going. He didn't allow failure to stop his progress towards success. And so what I'm telling you is that your exam results for the CCNA or whatever exam you're taking may say fail. It may say that. If you don't fail here, then it don't matter what that test say. Seriously. It does not matter what that test say. You make a decision in your mind that you will go back to the drawing board. Look at the percentage of the areas that you were weak in. Study those. And study the ones you were strong in. And come back in full force and knock that exam out. You can do it. You definitely can do it. Yes. Let it sink in. Let the four-letter word fail sink in. Let it sink in. That's cool. Let it sink in. But don't let it stay there. Get back up. Get back in them books. Get back on them laps. And knock that test out. You can do it. Like, I know it's, it's not easy. But it's not hard. It just takes work. That's all it is. It just takes work. Like, you don't know the information. Hard is maybe probably climbing a mountain. That's hard. You know, but when it comes to learning IT, it's not hard. You just don't know it. That's that's all it is. There's nothing hard about not knowing. You just need to get the understanding. That's all it is to me. To me. Like, yes, it can be difficult. It can be challenging, but it, it's not hard. You just have to put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort, be consistent, and grind nonstop. You can pass that CCNA without a doubt in my mind. It may take you one time, may take you two times, may take you three times. And on that fourth time, you pass it, it's going to feel great. You know, so just be encouraged. I'm here for your support. I'm here if you got questions, guidance. You know, I can't tell you what's on the test or anything like that. I definitely can't do that. Um, I can't tell you about my test experience. You know, but I can tell you what Cisco says about the test. And I can tell you study tips on how you can be successful on any exam. So whatever I can do to help, I'm here to help. But yeah, don't look at the word failure and be a failure. Look at the word failure and say, okay, I'm going to go back, put in the work, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to knock this test out. You can do it. Shout out to y'all that's out there grinding. No matter what you're doing, no matter what test, exam that you're pursuing, if it's in college, if it's you're trying to be a nurse, you're trying to be a doctor, um, IT is not the only way to go, but if that's the way you choose, cool. CCNA is not the only way to go. I mean, you really have to find what you desire to do, what um, interests you like most, because there are plenty of ways to get that bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and for you don't know what that bag is, that's money. There's plenty of ways for you to be successful and for you to accomplish your goals in this um, IT journey. I'm Dewan. Like this video. Share with somebody that needs some encouragement or needs some motivation to get back in the game. Subscribe to my channel. You guys got questions? Hit the comment section below. Tell me, have you ever failed an exam? And how did you overcome it? Or have you ever been in a situation where you felt like a failure? And how did you overcome it? Because it's not just about exams. We all face adversity in life. Because that's all that four-letter word fail is on the exam is adversity, a mountain, a challenge. Whatever you want to call it, you can overcome it. You can achieve it. You can do it. I thank you all for tuning in. Peace.